Hi, I'm Keith Douglas from Fresh Group Products. This is a video on the Wessex AT, sorry, AF range of ATV flower mowers. So uh, all specifications are on our web pages uh, relating to this product range, as well as some other product um, uh, flower, ATV flower mowers that we also supply. We supply uh, FTS, which is a a lower end product for lighter duties, very light duties, and it has to be matched to that. We do Chapman and Wessex would be our what we'd call quality brand machines. So, so we can give advice, independent advice, and guide you to why, what spec, and what mower would suit your needs best. So, Wessex have been around as a British manufacturer and supplier into the industry for since 1962 so 61 years now um, their flail mowers are fitted with Briggs and Strassen engines the uh, 18 horsepower and this one which is 23 horsepower this is the contract model so the higher spec model this particular one comes as standard with hammer flails um, and this is a V-twin. The 18 horsepower is also a V-twin and then they do a centrifugal clutch system which is not a V-twin, that's a 13 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine. A um, couple of differences that uh, you'd say probably that you, you find on the Wessex is it's a direct drive system. The uh, V-twin engine models run a direct drive system as opposed to centrifugal clutch and um, where the 13 horsepower Briggs engine, the AFE, is a twin belt uh, auto adjustment with a centrifugal clutch system. So um, I'll run through just the basics of the machine today, but it's just to indicate and give you an, uh, an idea of the quality of the Wessex and a few things about it that are a little bit different. So. The, this model, or say this model, all of the Wessex ATV flower mowers are driven from a power source point of view from the towing vehicle. So the 12 volt supply, the battery on an ATV, a UTV typically uh, is what you'd see these run behind most of the time. And that would be um, powered from the battery of that vehicle. So I'll uh, come out a little bit closer to the camera and um, so you can see there that you've got some simple connectors that would go to the battery you've got a protection in the circuit with a fuse breaker and then you've got a plug that would then fit into the other end of the wiring which is wired direct to the engine which is at the back you can't see it there I mean if the camera wants to come in let's show you it um, so if the camera wants to come in So these are the two connectors. They would connect together. Obviously, I've got covers on. I'm not going to take them off now for the sake of the video. Um, but that's how you do. While the camera's in, I'll show you a few other um, good features about the product. So um, this is still cable tied, up, cable tied on. Um, but this clips onto the rack of the quad. This is an emergency kill button. And what you do have on this, you have a little, uh, it's a little clip that can pull off and that you'd clip to your, your trousers, you know, whichever, whatever you're using, your overalls. And if you used to fall off the quad, that would pop out and that would basically then release that and that would kill the quad. So a good safety feature. So the drive system, the levers around the back, you don't really need to see that in this video. Height adjustment is here you've got a retainer clip an R clip just to stop it coming undone and moving whilst using it um, literally just take that out slide that out turn it one way turn it the other way it's a bit stiff to turn at the moment and it's because I haven't got it set up and all the weight is pushing forward so when that's um, in a pop that in the hole um, the other thing that you have on this one is you do have numbers in uh, engraved into the shaft which gives you an indicator for cutting height so if you're cutting at different heights um, I'll just come around here just to show you um, basically 
when you have the mower set in the right position obviously you can see that this is not set at all correctly at the moment because the draw bars up here but it would be somewhere down here on a quad bike and you want the bed the top part of the flail mower to be flat and therefore when you're looking down the end at the engine you want the engine to be in a vertical position that's the mower in the correct working position um, the camera wants to come in again actually uh, if it comes around from this side so you've got a heavy duty toggle bar we use a, a washer underneath so you can get it nice and tight you've got actually three offsets so this is set in the standard position this is an offset to one side this and then you've got a double offset on, on the other side so the draw bar would come round to the right that would then bring the mower off to depending on whether you're front off rear facing left or right whichever but that does give you a nice steep offset if you need it can be quite useful when using uh, a 4x4 towing vehicle um, of course you get your manuals your operating manual and assembly manual um, when they come when they're palleted and crated uh, there is some uh, we've got other videos on that some basic assembly to do that so I won't talk about that in any detail now um, the other nice feature with the Wessex range is you've got the wheels in what we call the regular position as you see it in this video but not with having to use any uh, tools at all uh, they've got a they call it the g2 generation of um, wessex flail mowers now and this system here enables you by lowering it down getting the wheels off the ground taking the, the, the so the wheels are airborne so to speak and sitting it down on the skids by adjusting the height you can then swing the arms round and they come back in and there's a little locking mechanism here now there are videos on that to show you how to do that um, so it's pretty obvious when you've done it once um, even when you're in front of the mower so that's a good feature the direct drive is um, I'm not going to say unique to Wessex but that's certainly something that they're known for um, and um, you yeah, know this safety device is, is quite a useful feature as well and the fact that it runs off of the power supply from the engine um, the all the engines are Briggs and Stratton. The AFX and the AFR, which is the professional and the contractor, the AFR, which this is, is classed as the contractor. They have V twin engines, um, where the smaller one has a straight uh, 13 horsepower Briggs engine. Um, I think really that's about it. There's not much else to. Oh, there, um, I won't get the camera in, but there are little notches here when you adjust the height and that also gives you an indicator to the height adjustment so um, my name is Keith Douglas from Fresh Group Products I hope you found this video informative it's just a brief product overview but just to give you an indication and an introduction to the Wessex brand um, which of course is UK they're a UK company so should you need any spare parts afterwards you know which of course you do do need from time to time they're all readily available um, so yeah my name is Keith Douglas from Fresh Group Products thanks for watching the video bye for now we hope you found that video informative please feel free to like or share with any friends or colleagues we regularly add new videos relating to our products and these can consist of action product overview and how-to videos. To receive these in the future, please subscribe to our channel. For more information on this video, either give the office a call or visit the website, links below. My name is Keith Douglas from Fresh Group Products Limited and our main contact number is 0333 880 6654. Thanks very much for watching.